Suffice it to say that we stand in one of the most momentous periods of human history. And in these days of emotional tension, when the problems of the world are gigantic in extent and chaotic in detail, all men of goodwill must make the right decisions. And on Tuesday, one week from today, the people of this nation must decide whether they want America to remain true to the great words of the Founding Fathers. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights, and that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We must decide whether those words will be firmly etched into the structure of our nation, or whether we will allow our nation to be relegated to a second-rate power in the world with no moral voice. We must decide next Tuesday whether America will take the high road of justice and peace and compassion for the poor and underprivileged, or whether this nation will tread the low road of man's inhumanity to man, of injustice, of short-sightedness. Each of us has a moral responsibility if we are of voting age and if we are registered to participate in that decision. I come here to urge every person under the sound of my voice to go to the polls on the 3rd of November and vote your convictions. Now, I know you are intelligent people, and I don't need to tell you who you should vote for. I don't have any fear about that. You know who to vote for. I'm just asking you to vote. Now, just if you need very seriously, never before in the history of our nation, as a candidate for the presidency, taken such a negative stand on the demands of our Judeo-Christian heritage for justice and understanding goodwill and compassion for the poor and peace. And so all men of goodwill will go to the polls on November the 3rd. And I hope we will have a great day in our nation so that when we wake up on the 4th of November, we will know that America has made the right decision.